All right, so this is going to be really quick video for you guys. Uh, this is a cool little pool called Chainer here. Um, this is just kind of covering how to get texture set up from Dark Souls 3 for Elden Ring because it's kind of annoying, at least in my experience. So why not automate it to some extent? Um, what we've got going on right here is just a collection of nodes that do stuff and things. If you want to uh, play with the tool yourself, uh, by all means, it will be linked in the description and all that good stuff. Uh, but what we've got here is we've got the albedo texture plugged in, the roughness texture, and then the uh, normals for the textures as well from the Firelink set from Dark Souls 3. Oops. From Dark Souls 3, it's the, it's the helmet. You got the little, little scarf and then the, the helmet and all that good stuff. Um, but basically, I made a little preset that I will have on my server that if you want to come snag it, uh, you are more than welcome to. But uh, what it does here is you plug in this 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 info, these images, and uh, you just click run on it, and it'll spit out a new um, texture here for you with a nice blend of the roughness and albedo there, um, and then a new metallic texture uh, which is good for Elden Ring because for some reason Dark Souls 3 uh, just kind of blends those together for you in game but I don't yeah, I, I don't know it's weird I think it's annoying so here's this um, and then over here I've got some nodes set up to um, effectively rename and resave these images uh, directly back to whatever directory it is that the images came from. So you don't have to worry about repathing or doing that unless you want to. Um, of course, you have that option. But uh, I thought it was a cool uh, tool for helping automate that process and kind of taking some of the annoyance away from it uh, for me personally. So I figured why not share it. So there it is for you if you're interested in it check it out.